time, eh? Night time here. Weekly weigh in time. Let's have a look. Starting up. Getting on. Waiting for it to um, stabilize. And we've got 186.1. So, how have, have you all been this week? Good, I hope? Excellent. Number two. Was that the same as the last one? I can't remember. No, really, I can't. Literally, don't retain this sort of information anymore. That's what the video's for. Number three. It will start up. There we go. <laughs> Six point two. So assuming the first two are one hundred eighty six point one, this can be one hundred eighty six point one point three or thereabouts. Let's see if my calculations are correct. Over here, you'll find the answer. Uh, assuming, <laughs> well, it'll be around around my head somewhere. So yeah. Um. See you next week. Alright guys, so it's uh, Wednesday today and I'm going to be weighing in. Now I'm a little concerned because um, I was, was 113.6 last week and that was just a maintained weight from when I was away in Bali. Didn't put any weight on. Um, I'm hoping I haven't put weight on this week to tell you the truth because my trainer said to me that there's a chance that I would um, put weight on because we're doing a lot of weight training, like we're lifting a lot of weight right now and my last train was just yesterday afternoon so uh, right now I feel like I'm sort of bulking up probably more than stripping fat so um, which kind of sucks because really I want to uh, lose the weight let's have a look yeah okay now yeah, well, that sucks anyway that's the way it is I suppose I'm looking for the best of both. I want to lose weight, but I want to get some shape as well. I think, have a look. I'm going to show. I think I'm, I'm starting to just, you know, get a bit of shape. Anyway, I'm losing the man. Do, 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 do. You know, I'm losing the man boobies, and I'm starting to get into shape. You know, I'm not this anymore, which is good. All right, guys. See you next week. Now it's raining, so but that's no excuse to stop exercising. So get yourself an umbrella, yay! Now of course, when it's raining, you can use an umbrella and walk around. You can exercise. Even strange noises won't disturb you. You can still exercise, and of course, if you're wearing a happy shirt like this. You can sing like this. I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. I'm ha 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 happy. I'm exercising. Try la 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 la. So, <coughs> ah. <coughs> so my friends, you can still exercise in the rain and. That is no excuse to stop. Raining is no excuse to stop exercising. Now everyone, it's time to get weighed. Now I've been doing a lot of exercise and look after my body and I feel a lot different. My belly is smaller, but let's see what I weigh right now. Let's have a look. Scales at the hospital. Look at that. I am I am 
the same I was last week. Isn't that amazing? Yet my belly is physically smaller, but I am the same weight. Isn't that amazing? Wow! I thought I would have reduced my body weight, but it's the same. Now, I've started lifting heavy weights now and building muscle, so who knows what my body's going to do. So let's see what it's going to be next week. It's raining, my friends. It's excellent. It's excellent. Good. Rain. There's no excuse to stop exercising. Hooray! Remember, my friends, raining is no excuse to stop exercising. Anyway, my friends, take care. Stay safe. Bye for now. Hey guys, take a good look around. This is probably all that remains of the snow for this winter. And spring's just around the corner, and all the snow will be fully gone. But it's now time for a weigh-in. And mostly this week it was raining, so I'm gonna, it's going to probably be a little jumpy. I still dropped some. Well, there you have it for this week. Here we go, Monday morning we in. All right, that's 4.2 pounds. Almost two kilos. Hey YouTube, this is Tim Juvier, and today is my week 24 weekly weight loss update and my week 10 update on the two blizzards competition. And I lost a total of 4.2 pounds, um, so that's uh, I would say about an average week for me, so I'm happy with that. Um, I was uh, looking around at the gym the other day and just I was, I don't know, I guess I was kind of uh, in a way being kind of envious of some of the people that were around me just were really fit and I just, I don't know, uh, I'm just realizing I still have a long way to go so I'm, you, you know, but I was looking at some of these guys and I was thinking, you know, I wonder what it would be like if they were actually carrying the same amount of weight that I'm carrying. You know, if they were still fit and everything and they were carrying around the same amount of weight as I'm carrying around, uh, could they keep up with me in a foot race? And so I decided to test that out. Take a look at this. Hey YouTube, this is Tim Jumier here, and I'm outside my local gym, Fitness One here at Surprise. I'm getting ready to have a foot race with my friend Chris. He's actually a uh, trainer and uh, one of the employees here at the gym. He's uh, willing to, uh, to race me. And now that I'm in the 360s, uh, I'm feeling pretty fast. So there's just one catch to the deal. Chris here, he weighs 270. He's willing to say that publicly, right? Yeah, Chris. Okay. So uh, Chris is holding two 50-pound dumbbells. And so my goal here is to uh, show you guys that I can beat somebody that actually weighs the same as I do. Even though, Chris, you look at the guy, he looks pretty fit, right? And you look at me, I don't look fit at all. But I'm still going to beat this guy. All right, let's do it. Ready, set, go! Thank you.
Just about to weigh in to see how much I weigh. One oh three point seven. That's a loss of nine hundred grams. Woohoo! 